Hello everyone, I am Shada Shiro and welcome to Sudha Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn understanding of class dot phoneme. In Java, class loading is nothing but a moving or transferring a class file from a secondary memory to a primary memory. Secondary memory means hard disk, and the primary memory means RAM. To work of transforming a class file, a secondary memory to primary memory will be taken care by the class loader. In case of C and CPP pro programming, there is a compiler, a linker, and a loader. Compiler creates a .obj file and the linker creates a .exe file and finally a loader loads the .exe files into the RAM for the execution. In case of a Java, there is a only one a compiler and the loader, but there is no a linker, so there is no .exe files to generate at the time of computing and executing a Java programming. In Java programming, if we want to load a class into a JVM, there we need to call a method called for name method of a java.lang.class. Now, the prototype of class.forname is public static class for name string name this is the signature or a prototype of a for name method it throws class not found exception this method makes a jvm to load a given class or interface into a application from memory dynamically at runtime if there are not available to load this method throws checked exceptions called class not found exception it is a static method can be called without an object available in java.lang.class it is a factory method a method of a java class that is a capable of constructing and returning its own java class object is called as a factory method what is the factory method a method of a java class that is capable of constructing and returning its own java class object is called as a factory method for example i can show the different factory methods thread t is equal thread dot current thread the current thread method returns a thread class object now the current thread is a factory method and coming to the one more example is string s yes is equal to string dot value of see here the value of method is a factory method why because it returns the same class object and also a calendar in the calendar get instance method is a factory method the method returns the calendar object and coming to the class uh, for name method for name method is also returns the same uh, method name uh, same class name that is called that is uh, the for name is a factory method class c is equal to class dot for name it takes class name the for name is also a one of the factory method now the above statements if you see these are the statements these are the statements these are the statements makes a jvm to load a class test into a application dynamically sorry if you see this line if you see this line this line makes a jvm to load a class test into a application dynamically at a runtime and returns an object of uh, java.lang.class and referring the loaded class 
test in the in this statement c is not the object of the loader class c this c is not a object of a loaded class loaded class means test class it is not a type of test class loaded class test it is in it is the object of java dot lang dot class this is an object of java dot lang dot class referring the loaded class test we can use this object c to gather details about the loaded class test to create the object of loaded class test and etc operations if the java method throws checked exceptions while calling that method we must handle that exception using try catch blocks or we need to declare that exceptions to be thrown or by using a throws statements now i can create a simple example on that you see this example public class test app public static void main of string of ox now i am handling the exception by using throws keyword after that i am loading the class dynamically class c is equal to class dot for name of i am passing the argument ox of i am reading the zeroth argument after that just i am printing something sysystem system dot out dot print ln control c control v control v ox of 0 plus easy on interface plus e dot sorry c dot is is interface this method checks that particular method is interface or not if it is interface it returns true otherwise it returns false ox of 0 plus is colon plus c dot get name dot it returns the name of the class super class of plus ox of 0 plus is plus c dot super class it returns the super class of that class now whenever you are compile i am compiling the java code by using my java c command after that i am running by using java test app i am passing java dot lang dot string now this is an argument this argument i am passing to test app whenever if here the test app is running automatically it comes to the args 
now i am loading dynamically in the by using the class dot for name it loads dynamically and now i am printing ox of zero means string is an interface no it is not an interface now after it returns the false now name of the uh, string class is string and the super class of string class is an object it returns like this in order to know class name of a java object programmatically then we call the get class name method of that object this method is available as a public method of a java dot lang dot object class thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.